when you visit InfoWarsHealth.com. Be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. You're listening to the Alex Jones Show. There's only one way to meet a bully, and that's head on. And the bullies have taken over the society. The foxes are guarding the hen house. No one can deny that. So good men and women of conscience out there at every level, whether you're talk show hosts or newspaper reporters, you got to set aside partisanship right now and get down to the Bill of Rights of Constitution. I mean, I've been a critic of Nixon, a critic of stuff Bush did, but I mean, th th that is, this is nothing. The entire republic is being erased. And you Democrats better know when they put in some Republican puppet, these foreign interests, Katie barred the door as well. And I'll be critical of that. But I don't even see that happening now. I, I mean, more and more, I've said, man, maybe Obama continues to be worse than I thought it would be. And they're making every preparation like he's not leaving. And they're talking like that, too, at the Huffington Post and places. And the boldness of these scallywags is just, it's something to, to witness. And, and, and you look at China, a, a journalist, activist who mildly criticized the government, was just sentenced to four years. We can put that up on screen for TV viewers. A prominent Chinese activist sentenced to four years in prison, CNN. Well, I mean, here, they just trump up some campaign thing or claim he did something wrong while they openly engage in incredible crimes. That's all the elite have to have is a bunch of guys in uniforms to come take you away. And they're trying to phase that in. I mean, it's happening. And I look at how sad and weak the average man is out there acting tough. Men now think it's cool to be like gangsterish and thuggish and into corruption. They're the opposite of knights. They're the opposite of honorable people. And I'm more and more studying history and archetypes realize it is the archetype of the knight that is going to save us because if people discover the fact that being honorable and standing against evil is what you're designed to do, it's so addicting. If you get somebody to do it a couple times, it's over. The journey towards the light side will be complete, not the dark side. <laughs> Man, liberty creates a cornucopia. Tyranny creates a living hell. I didn't get to a lot of the news. I want to jam in as many calls as possible uh, right now. But, I mean, look at these articles. Look, look at Fox News. Gunfights, Smith & Wesson, Ruger, Quick, California will no longer sell their guns after regulations and stamping requirement. They're putting in regulations. Like they said, you can build a coal plant, but we'll bankrupt you with regulations. They're passing regulations all over the country at state level. 
bankrupting, uh, selling in that state. I mean, they're just doing it by fiat. Why not? The president's a dictator. And he's not romanticized like Lincoln, folks. Let's talk to uh, Chris in Kentucky. Then we'll go to Ray, Captain Bruce, Andrew, Tony, Vince, Kim, Max, and others. Go ahead, Chris in Kentucky. Hey, Alex. How you doing? I'm all right, brother. Thanks for holding. What's on your mind? All right, I tell you what, you talked about the fiat control. What's next? You go to the grocery store. You have cash? Well, you can't. we don't accept cash anymore. Do you have your RFD uh, checks that we could scan, or do you have a thumbprint next? You know, the Oh, yeah, six months ago they wouldn't take 50s. Now they won't take 20s. And that's like you're a criminal, these idiots, because they're being told to do it. They want to get rid of cash. Absolutely, they do, and they want to get rid of cash. You can't have a, your own garden, and uh, oh, you're going to buy seeds. Well, you got to have a chip. You better fingerprint. So, who has the seeds? The country the is a prison. The country is a prison. Absolutely, it is, and it's just infuriating me that these people are just so dumbed down, like a bunch of zombies out here. We got folks get real. I reached a handful of people. I've talked to people. I talked to a guy in the military that knows about you. He's got prisonplanet.com across his pickup. I had a conversation with him, Alex. The, the military's waking up. I was about to I, say the only people awake are the military. You know. Yeah. I want to yeah, bash the cops because they've been taken over by the feds. They're more awake than the public. <laughs> they, I mean, the yeah, cops are. are more awake really compared are. to the public. Public, it, it, the public is the problem. Look in the mirror, folks. You've let this happen. Go ahead. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I tell you what, I wanted to mention something, too. I saw a train go by today, and it had these 20-foot containers on a flat car said explosive U.S. Army. I wonder what's in those and what's the plan. Man, those they got the military running around domestically like the chickens with their heads cut off. And that's why the military is waking up, Chris, because they know they're being trained to literally take on guys in John Deere hats and the training missions. They're training to go after Hank Williams Jr., anybody who's independent and people that aren't going to bow to what's coming. And they know the good old boys aren't going to go out offensively. They're going to hunt us down, just like the uh, Green Beret infiltrator or the weatherman got the documents and got them convicted. They talked in those meetings how they're going to kill 25 to 50 million Americans when they take over. That's that's the goal. Well, I got that's news for heirs and all of them. <laughs> you better, when all this goes down, buddy, you better get your butt out of this country. That's all I can say, punk. Yeah, that's true. You better get these punks out of here. You bullies get out of here because you know what? There's an awakening. We know who you are. Don't think you're going to get away with this. When we take this country back, we're coming for you. Wherever you're at, we're going to dig you out of your rat holes. God bless you. Good to hear from you, Chris. I don't care what happens to me. I want to beat these people on the end. That's what really is animating as a man, is to commit yourself doing the right thing, and you don't care about yourself. You care about victory over evil. And that doesn't mean I'm on some high horse either. We got pure evil running rampant all over the place. You people are in grave danger. Don't you see it's all happening? It's all going to happen, you idiots. You think it's funny, all you men that laugh at this. I know who you are. You're cowards. Let's go ahead and talk to... Ray in Texas. Ray, you're on the air. Go ahead. Good afternoon, Alex. Hey, brother, go ahead. Yeah, I appreciate all your hard work. Uh, keep it up. Anyway, uh, my question is, how many foreign troops do you think are in this country? At least 200,000. They've mainlined them all, and it's in the Denver Post. They trained to fight militias. They got Russian, German, Dutch, French, British, uh, Australian. It's unbelievable. It's like 1776 for the Hessians landing. I got you. And that's probably going to be the enemy that we have to fight. And, uh, well, they're going to they're going to have a civil war with the cops and military with us first. And, yeah, then they're going to send those guys in to call the police and military. Right. And when they unleash those people, uh, maybe maybe then people will wake up. No, the well, average man will go out. It was like a football game and they announced their foreign helpers and will actually would actually give their wife to them if they wanted them. I, I, the average man out there would literally watch as foreign troops rape their wife and slit their kids' throats and they would thank them for it. That's how cowardly they are. As long as they can watch the football game. I, I really but a lot of people aren't gonna stand down. That's and that's why we're listed as the enemy. Yeah, well maybe they'll have the Super Bowl and the FEMA camp so people will, will have something to do. <laughs> well what do you, I mean listen, hundred to one Price earnings ratios in the big companies. I mean, what's what's going to happen with that bubble? What do you think of all these uh, banks shutting down, getting money out all over the world? It's it's just a sign of what's coming. Uh, they're 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 conditioning us as we speak every day. And uh, do you think there's any chance that uh, they'll double cross Bill and Hillary and? Run, Moshe, uh, run Michelle Obama is our... Name. Oh, yeah, they could do anything. All these nasty puppets. It doesn't matter which one they put in. But, but I mean, here's the deal.
The military said no to aiding al-Qaeda in Syria and Egypt, and that's why Obama had to back down. That's why he just purged 300 top officers the last two months. The entire nuclear command force, including the guys that launched the missiles, the officers. I mean, they've called from the top generals down. It's a coup, folks. I don't know what to do. I mean, I know more than the average folks at, you know, in the war college because they practice conventional warfare. I've studied political takeovers. But, man, I mean, this is way above my pay grade. I mean, I'm on the air as one of the main people fighting this, a 40-year-old from Texas. The signs were all there historically. These people have just been in denial, brother. I mean, God, it's like I'm telling people a, a flood's coming down. The, the you know the, the dam broke. A flood's coming towards the town. Get out of the town. It's not rocket science. That's what's so frustrating. History is repeating itself, and people better get hardcore right now and be peaceful and warn everybody and get the word out. God bless you. Captain Bruce. I'm going to have to do some overdrive to take all these calls. Captain Bruce, go ahead. Uh, Alex, I'm calling you from Fort Walton Beach, Florida. We're a huge military area here. I live on the edge of Eglin Air Force Base. I am on the radio just about three or four times a week on AM 1260 WFDW, Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Awesome. Repeating most of what you say. I understand what you say. I believe the military understands what you say. My question to you is... After John Corzine and the Biden hug and the bank holiday in 2008, do you believe that even though the NSA controls our corrupt officials like Judge Roberts, will we be able to use current law to stop the corrupted lawmakers at this point? If we have the moral authority, which we have, if we get the narrative out, the real narrative, people know we're in trouble. They don't know how bad it is. And I mean, it's bad because, listen, they've committed folks. They're going ahead with this. That's why I'm so freaked out. They're going ahead with a full takeover. I don't know exactly what that's going to entail, but it looks bad. I mean, every fiber in me has gone past even being concerned now. My gut is in complete, you know, just braced mode now. I mean, this is it, folks. We're going in. I mean, th this is it. I'm telling you, I don't know what those... E ugh. I can't explain it. You know, everybody's family's been here a long time. Mine's been here since 1620. I really love America. There's nowhere else to go. And it's just... Painful. I also grieve to watch this country being shut down by a bunch of traitors that are going to bankrupt us and the domesticated men are, and the churches are bought off. They're all going to roll over. And it is just unbelievable, brother. God bless you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to overdrive for 10 minutes, but I got to go do a test in the new studio for the cameras and satellite tests and some other stuff after that. So we're going to end it at 10 after next hour. Infowars.com for audio feeds if your station doesn't carry it. If not, Lord willing, I'm back tomorrow. But pray for us, folks, because they probably are getting ready to come after me. That, that's what I'm picking up. Stay with us. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. 